Well, I'm at the campsite. Uh, I haven't decided yet where I'm going to set up the tent. So right now I'm in the process of uh, doing the hardest of the chores all the time, and that is uh, gathering some wood for fuel from a fire. It's supposed to be down in the 40s tonight, so I'm going to make sure I have enough wood. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff laying right over here on the, uh, the one lake uh, if I need uh, any more, but I'm going to still gonna start grabbing some significant uh, sized branches and down trees, and so I have a pretty good amount of fuel. Then I'll go for a little walk, see if I can find uh, whatever I need for. All right, sorry about that. I sneezed, and they want the camera have to hear that. But uh, I didn't even have to walk back here, so this is more or less car camping. Uh, my Jeep's just down the this uh, gas well road down the road here, so they will actually drive in. So I said, I might as well take advantage. I could have walked down, but uh, in case I need to get out of here for emergency reasons, I can get out, jump into my vehicle. It's probably about 75 yards away. I can get out of here quickly if I needed to. But the uh, game plan is probably going to set up my tent right in here as a level spot. Uh, I really didn't want to be out in the middle of, uh, of the uh, open having everyone see what I'm doing, so I decided to be tucked back here in the woods a little bit. I already had a vehicle down here earlier. I must have been scouting for deer. Uh, Archer's about to start up here in about three weeks. That's probably what he was into. He saw me back here and I was wondering what I was doing, but uh, kept on going. Uh, I typically do archery hunt, but I never even got my bow out of the case this year, so uh, it's too late for me to really start practicing and shooting the bow. Uh, took a time off for rifle season. I'll do that. Uh, I'll get the bow back out next year and see what we can do. But, uh, right now we're going to continue on uh, gathering some fuel for fire and uh, I'll set up a tent probably in another couple hours so I'll worry about the fuel part right now and setting up camp later. So uh, In the meantime uh, I will turn this off and I really don't know if you can see it these crappy or not in here. But, uh, I have food with me, but if I was in a survival mode, <coughs> there's some uh, pretty flexible branches next to the uh, stream here that I could actually uh, grow a trot line out to catch some of these. Crappies are not very finicky when it comes to stuff to eat. Probably even make uh, some sort of bait out of these little miniature cones that we're seeing on this type of tree here. I'm not real familiar with this tree, so I have to do some research. But uh, almost like a cone. Try to get that in the focus better here. But, uh, see if I even, even can even entice one with one. Or something so significant. I know there's better fish in here than just the uh, crappy, so. But uh, this will be a convenient place to filter water, too, right in here. Uh, I need some. I got uh, my 25 ounce uh, canteen with me, aluminum canteen, and uh, my 3 liter uh, uh, camelback uh, bladder with me as well. So, and my 2 liter platypus if I need to fill it up. But since I'm this close to a water source, I'm not going to get carried away with uh, all that. So. I'm just heading back to the old uh, gas wall road where I parked my vehicle. So. Didn't get too far back because I started getting swapped up. And I'm not ready to swap up my vehicle. I just got a couple about a month ago and uh, needed to give it up. another cut of wax before winter gets here, so, but uh, it started to get a little sloppy, so we stopped, but this is a convenient place to come if I'm going to get out and practice and we'll probably want to walk too far, so. I already saw a couple other people back here, uh, not right back where I'm at now, but uh, in the area, so I hear it quad now so in the background so I'll check that in. Oh, I was sitting there on my stool I just happened to catch out of my eye out of the sun glare was some uh, fishing line 
that was just balled up on the shore here. And I grabbed it, put a split shot on the end of it and the hook I had in my survival bag, and uh, threw it out with just one of those jelly-like candies. Couldn't find any live worms uh, anywhere right around here. And just a tinker. I wasn't worried about it. Uh, there's a bunch of red berries I might have been able to use, but I'm just going to see if this entices any of the fish. I see fish down there swimming around it, but not necessarily something that's going to bite. But just in a pinch, uh, if I needed to uh, get some substance, this is where I could uh, at least start off at. So, but, uh, well, I'm going to shut her down for now. If I do any good, I'll uh, be sure I show you. If not, uh, and get the bait out of things that we don't uh, name any animals here, so. Well, campsite set up. I uh, got the tent put up, sleeping bag. I uh, hung my bladder over here on the tree. Nothing fancy. Sitting around here paying. We'll have a fire here shortly and Suffer here pretty directly too, but has some chili tonight. But like I said, I went ahead and out there found that some line and threw on a branch with some bait. And see what we did. I'm not guaranteed we're going to get anything, but uh, we're just out here practicing our skills. So, well, well, I started my uh, cat stove. I have a uh, felt buckle windscreen I made with some flashing. Got that idea off of uh, Jason Class from Gear Talk on YouTube. And, uh, this is the first time I've used this windscreen higher than the comb just to play with after I got it. That's why I stuck the uh, singe marks on the side. So I figured it'd be a little more sturdier than uh, the typical thin loom pull I had at home. So I wanted to see how it performs. It's, uh, been on for about a minute now, it's quarter to six. I have myself some chili and uh, probably uh, start the fire up about a little after seven, closer to dark. And, uh, you know, I, have, I bought a dehydrator a couple months ago and I've been dehydrating a lot of things and warm some chili. So, uh, first time I've had it out of the house too, so we'll see what the sun's been a while. I keep it in the uh, freezer too after I dehydrate to help keep it as pressure. So. Well, I'm going to walk down the pond and just check on the uh, this line that I dumped in the water, see if anything went after it, and, uh, and I'll check back in after I get this chill. Well, you can see the steam coming right out the holes there. It's only been uh, just about five minutes, so it should be a good and rapid boil. Let's take a look. Yes, it is. So I don't waste that. I'm going to go ahead and put on down here. still boiling. I'm just going to let it boil off. i got plenty of fuel with me. I'll use maybe half an ounce, if you want to call it that. Uh, these dehydrated mills, all I do is I just take a uh, Tupperware container. Pour my boiling water inside here. Just enough to just cover it. Put it off the side. I made one particularly for this a pretty long since it ain't cold. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and sit this in my actual pot. That way it's a whole lot easier to clean that plastic container than it's going to be to clean this pot. So. And of course you saw none of what I just did because I didn't have the camera pointing where I needed it. So, but uh, 
what I end up doing is widen this out here. That's as wide as it's going to be. But, uh, irregardless, I had my chili inside my pot cozy in a plastic tupperware, like I was saying. I'll give it about five minutes or so, check it to stir it, see if it's anywhere close. And once it's done, I'll give you an idea what it looks like when we're done. So I'm not going to waste your time.